is Alexa and my mom Patty is a breast cancer survivor. My wife is one of the nicest, most honest people you will ever meet and a wonderful mother and wife. Patty was diagnosed. The first person she called was Sherry. Sherry was incredible. My wife Sherry is amazing. She's, she's beating cancer. This is the third time she's doing the Susan G. Coleman walk. They would do anything for me and I would do anything for them. My mom is a hero. She wants to stop breast cancer. So bad. Her fight is my fight. It's our kids' fight. They're so strong. They're so independent. They're so motivated. We want to make a difference. And I think we are. And we're all following the lead of Hattie and Sherry and the team. It's an incredible thing. I'm really looking forward to spending three days with these 10 women as a team. Team, we're getting up front, go! This year, it's obviously going to be different. The first year that I did the walk, Patty met me at the finish line, and that day she's like, I'm in. Cheryl is Patty's sister-in-law, her best friend, and it was gonna be the three of us. One by one, we just kept adding members. Vicky's my exercise friend. Every challenge we've ever done, we've done together. When she called me, instantly I was like, I'm in. I got a email from Vicky. She was asking just for a donation, and I just said, I'm ready. So that's how I got Tina on. How did you get on? Um, I was in book club with Sherry. At book club one night, Gretchen turned to me and said, I'm in, and so is Teresa. Teresa's having a baby. <laughs> Uh, Leo's in here. How strong of a woman she is to be doing this pregnant, because I don't think that I could do it. We'll be like, I'll walk 60 miles. <laughs> My other sister-in-law, Sue, when she said she was going to do it, I said, you can't do it this year. You just had twins. And she said, I have to. A former student of mine, Caitlin, called me up, and she said, can I do this with you? I knew if I was ever going to do this walk, it would have to be next to Sharon. I thought she was going to like run through the phone and give me a huge hug. And then was Maureen. She's the light of our team. She is currently in treatment. For her to say, yes, I want to join your team was just huge. Having Maureen there really puts it back into perspective and reminds you that you need to enjoy every moment that you have. Next year, I'm going to do this walk on a bicycle. We're a 10 strong woman now. It's so much more in a team. This is just a symbol of strength and power that a group of women can get through anything. Just as we got in, it started raining. We finally got our, <laughs> our mattresses set up. And we'd like to go to dinner, but it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Day one's all done. Patty's daughter Alexa and my son Dylan were selected to be part of the Youth Corps. The Youth Corps is kids who can't walk because we're not old enough, so we work. We support them, we make them keep going, so they never want to stop. They never want to give up. Oh, thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. They're young to have to experience this, but I think it's given them some insights that children their age don't get. I want to do everything I can to make sure that my mom is with me for a very long time. He's an old soul, but he's awesome. He's awesome. Do you know what? <laughs> Coming out of the shoot this morning, when I saw him, I went up and whispered in his ear, I love you, and then I'm just bald. And he's like, Mom, don't dance. Whatever you do, don't dance. <laughs> The dance party last night, everybody was there, and I have never laughed so hard. The one time I fall, the camera's on me. She's on her back, and I'm laughing so hard I can't talk to her. <laughs> I forgot to be a friend and ask her if she was okay. <laughs> we 
there we were at the dance party, having a great time, and then we said, okay, let's go to the Remembrance Tent. Walking in there with Maureen, with Vicki, with Patty, with Sherry, all survivors, nice. into a tent that was dedicated to those who did not, it was pretty powerful. Maureen left a message that she hopes the tough warrior princesses never have to walk in for her. her. I have metastatic breast cancer, but I'm lucky to be this healthy and to be able to walk and, and, and do this. Maureen is so positive, and the fact that she's walking, going through the treatment she's going through right now, she's lifting us up and taking care of everybody all the time. And that brought us all yeah. right together last night. Welcome to Boston. It's the last day, the team looks great. The wind's at your back, can't beat it. This year has been so different. Just watching Perseverance was really stunning to me. I think we've seen everything except for hail at this point. It was tough. It was tough. I've never done anything like this in my whole entire life. To walk 60 miles in three days is rather incredible, but the people who do it, they've really made a commitment that this is how they're going to make a difference in breast cancer. That's what we're counting on, that we can raise money and beat this disease. I mean, they've raised almost 41,000, I think, this year as a team. 42,000 and still counting because I went online the other night and had three more donations. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's still coming in. That's huge. That has to make a dent in this disease and lead to new medicines and new treatments. My cancer was HER2 positive. My mother lost her life to this. There's now a drug that hopefully is saving my life. Years ago, if you were HER2 positive, that was it. And now I have Patty right here. <laughs> I look at Maureen, she is not responding at all to regular treatment. I am the research. You know, sometimes you hear if you just hang in long enough, maybe the cure will come your way. And I really do believe that we're close. There will be a cure, and we're gonna walk until there is. Until we figure out what causes breast cancer, how to cure all the types of breast cancer, and ensure everyone that needs it has access to care, our work is not done. I'm looking forward to these last three miles. Hey yeah, Dylan, so want to walk the rest of the way with your mom? Sure. Woo! Yeah. It's just going to be a completion of one long journey. Three days and three years for me. We've done amazing things. We've done amazing things. I can't wait to walk in there with our sign, heads held high, proud of what we all accomplished. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the more than I think about one year ago today, where I was and what I was facing, I can tell anyone that they can do anything they want to do and make a huge difference doing it. We now raise the final flag of the Boston Three Day for the Cure. Cancer is not who I am. This flag is proof that we are here. This means more life for me. Living. I'm making a difference. Breathing. Remember how precious life is. And shouting with every step. We have made a difference. We will never give up. My life has been changed because of every one of these women. We will never give up. It goes way beyond the walk. We will never give up. This is what the three day is all about. This is why you want to be a part of it.